Welcome to this uh, webinar, our sixth webinar for this season. Uh, today we will give a webinar on automatic detection on process uh, deviations. Range is also possible, so the peak-to-peak -peak value, the change during the cycle, and a lot of more indicators. Um, based on this data, we can now define either manually or with an automatic learning, we can define a good reference. So we have to define a reference, um, how our cycle should be like. And based on this, we can generate an upper and lower um, border or threshold um, where we want our, uh, our process to be inside these borders. Um, when we have um, configured this good reference, we can um, start monitoring the cycle. The next application I have is for you is um, a saw monitoring for the seamless pipe production. Um, this was our first beta test we did. So we tested um, this during um, the development of the EBA and cycle. And the goal there was um, that um, the material for the seamless pipe production has to be cut to the correct lengths before it goes to the heating and all the other process steps behind. Um, the problem in here is that these blades um, from the saw, they can get a bit stumped. Or what is even the bigger problem, um, you can have um, that tooth are breaking out of the blade. And normally it's not the big issue if it's only one tooth because then you can repair it. But if there are several teeth breaking on, the, on this blade, um, then they have to throw the whole blade away, and the, this, of course, gets quite expensive. Um, so the goal was to detect during the sawing process if there was a breaking of teeth or if the blade is getting stumped over time. So during our test, um, this is data from um, one day, and during this day, we can detect two different issues that happened. What we can see here is what you saw before in live online in PDA, um, this absolute delta value. And we were monitoring this absolute delta value. And based on this value, we configured a warning and a, an alarm. And what we can see here during this event over here, um, there was a breakage of the blade. So the several teeth broke out. And we can detect that before this um, big issue here happens, we were able to give out a warning. And we saw um, in the curve or in the cycle that at this position, there quite likely was a breakage of a tooth. So we can directly warn on this event. Um, the second thing we can see during this day um, that we had a warning for a very long time and at the end we had a, also an alarm for a longer time and this absolute delta value was rising and rising um, over the whole time over a time of I think it was two or three hours. So um, with a new tool EBA and Cycle um, it can be used for for multiple applications or use cases. Um, we mainly separated in three um, categories. So on one hand, you can use it for the asset health monitoring. So you want to prevent damages and failures like um, for the saw. So you can reduce unplanned downtimes, um, reduce your maintenance cost. Um, of course, this will also increase your productivity and you, you're able to protect your machines or your plant. Then on the other hand, we have the process monitoring. So you can see when a process is drifting away. So you see um, deviations in the signals before this, this drifting away leads to an, uh, a significant error. You can detect rear on some components and the good thing is you cannot only do this afterwards in, in the offline system or in a, in a higher level. You can do this directly online on an edge device and get the alarming directly during the process. 
And of course, this will also increase uh, the uh, reliability of your.